All right, in this video, we're going to sketch the graph of a polynomial function. And here we're going to sketch the graph of a polynomial that satisfies all these following conditions. So f of 3 equals 2, f prime of 1 equals 0, f prime of negative 1 equals negative 2. Uh, it says the first derivative is positive for all x greater than 1. The first derivative is going to be negative for all x less than 1. And the second derivative is going to be positive for all x. So usually when I sketch these, I try to kind of summarize everything. It will sort of you know, make more sense to me a little bit. So the first thing, uh, since f of 3 equals 2, that means that the point 3, 2 is on the graph. And I usually go ahead and put those dots on there just because I know, you know those points have to be there. The next thing I'm going to think about is actually the first derivative stuff. So the first derivative, we said for all x-coordinates greater than 1. So for all x-coordinates greater than 1, the derivative is positive. And that tells us the original function is increasing. And then it said for all x-coordinates less than 1, it was negative. So that means the function is decreasing. The second derivative was greater than 0 for all x. That was our last condition. So that means we know it's concave up everywhere. And already, you know, based on that, I'm thinking, hey, you know, maybe a graph kind of like a parabola would, would work here. And I think it almost will. Um, you know, so at x equals 1, the slope of the tangent line is going to be 0. So since f prime of 1 equals 0. So at x equals 1, I'm going to kind of make it, you know, sort of bottom out here a little bit. So there at the x-coordinate of 1, there's the slope of our tangent line equaling 0. Um, you know, eventually we'll have to go through that point uh, 3, comma 2. And also at negative 1, we said the slope is negative 2. Well, you can kind of imagine, you know, having something that's sort of parabolic in shape. And certainly the slope of that tangent line potentially could equal negative 2. Again, the slope at the bottom was uh, a slope of 0. And I think now we've actually got a, uh, a picture that would actually agree with all this. So it goes through 3, 2, f prime of 1, that has a tangent line of 0 f prime of negative 1 equals negative 2, so it says at negative 1 the slope of the tangent line should be negative 2. Um, we've got it increasing for all x coordinates greater than 1, and we've got it decreasing for all x coordinates less than 1, and last but not least it's concave up everywhere. So I think this would be a function f of x that does satisfy all of those conditions.